right guys, I finished day one. It's May 3rd, 84 degrees out here in Georgia, but I made it happen. I'm extremely tired. So I just finished my one mile run and yeah, I'm super sweaty, but I realized today is 21 days that I've been running one mile every single day for 21 days straight. My goal is to do 30 days of running one mile straight without stopping at all. And I did it for the past 21 days. Today makes day 21. So I'm super excited. It doesn't even feel like it. I just realized it because my friend Rose, my best friend Rose asked me, hey, how many days does it make it that you've been running your one mile challenge that you've been doing? And I'm like, oh, let me check on my calendar because it's just running every single day, right? And I make sure I put it in my calendar from the day that I started. And that's how I've been tracking it on my Google calendar. And I was like, oh, okay, let me check. I checked. It's 21 days. I'm thinking it was like day 18 or something, but it was 21 days. So I'm just super excited. So if you guys are trying to stick to it with your health challenges and like really trying to get your health in order and like get your body right and get healthy as possible for yourself just do it do it for yourself don't do it for anyone else you can do it it takes 21 days to make it a habit so I'm just excited so I'm just gonna go ahead and do my 21 day results and then I'll do a 30 day result video later on in a couple more days because I'm almost there today makes 21 so once again I just finished running my one mile just came inside the house my Apple watch is charging before I go into my workout with my trainer Brianna Cole she's awesome at Phoenix fit check her out she's amazing but yeah I'm gonna go ahead and check my measurements real quick and see what my progress like what my results are for the past 21 days so I believe when I started I was 33 inches and my Ooh, weight I'm thick so right now I am at 33 inches for my waist so whew. I have gained a lot of weight TMI but just to let you know I'm a little bloated because guess what happened the other day time of the month right so my period just started so i am bloated as heck but it's okay i know i see some results because my body is still looking <laughs> i'm still looking good okay i have some results i know i at least dropped at least one inch for sure for sure because i worked out really really hard i've been running and now i started my online training program two weeks ago and so i'm feeling great so we're gonna see running every single day for the past 21 days we'll see if i drop some inches so it's wrapped around and we're looking like <laughs> Look at that. Yes, sis, look at this. Yes, 31 inches. Wait, wait, is that accurate? Are we even? Are we even? Yes, we even, look at that. 31 inches, guys. So wait, hold on, let me put this down so you can actually see. Yeah, I know, yes, can see. 31 inches for my waist. 31 inches. 31 inches. <laughs> I'm so excited. 31 inches. Yes, sweating and all, you can enjoy the sweat all over my body. Enjoy it. Look at that. Look at that. Look, just turn around. Y'all see this body? You see this body? It's mine. All mine. All natural. <laughs> Look at that. 31 inch waist. 31. 31. 31. 31 inch. 31. <laughs> ah, ah. And I'm feeling extra good because I just got waxed. <laughs> it's been like bush haven for the past couple months since this quarantine. But uh, my wax center finally opened up. So I made my point with my girl Gabby. She got me right. But anyway, guys, I'm just super excited. I lost a total of two inches so far. So yeah, 31, three or two, 31. Yeah, it's two inches. So I can do math. But yeah, I'm down to 31 inches in my waist. Exactly. So I'm just really excited. I'm feeling good. If you can't tell by the excitement in my face, I just feel really good that I actually stuck to this for 21 days straight. Doesn't even feel like it's been 21 days, but I'm just super, super happy that I stuck this out. And so I know that you can do the same. If you have some challenges, let me know in the comments down below what challenges you're trying out for yourself and you're doing it for yourself and see what results you'll get. The next one I am gonna try is the seven day jump rope challenge. So I think I'm gonna start that literally after I finish my 30 day one mile challenge. But yeah, those are my results guys, 21 days, 21 days. Ah! Look, at that. Look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that. Yes, yes, hair free, hair free. I put my arms up like this because before I was a bushy, a bushy, but I'm hair free, hair free. Look at the back. Yeah, look at my back guys, you see the back? And I guess I should show you my front too before I wrap up this video. This is how I look on the side. And you can tell from the previous clip, I had a really thicker stomach and I know it's slimmer than what it is now because once again, I'm on my cycle. So I know I'm slimmer, so it's okay. But you'll see the 30 day follow up because I won't be on my cycle then, it'll be even better. But I still look great because check my belly out. You see that? It's slimmed down. 
That's how I look on the side. Let's get back so you fully see. Here I look on the back. Other side. Ooh, look at that sweat, guys, as I'm working out. Running hard in the heat, mind you. It's like one o'clock in the afternoon. And this is a little like in the front. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. All right, guys. So <laughs> those are my results for 21 days. I'm super excited. And yeah, I just, I'm super excited. I'm hoping that when I do my 30 day challenge and I finish all the way to 30 days, I should be down to my goal, which was 29 inches for my waist. So that would be freaking amazing if I get down to 29. But if it's just 30, I'm good with that too because I'm feeling great. My pants are feeling better. I knew I dropped an inch or two because like my waist area, when I put on some of my tighter jeans, it was just looser. There was like some open space here. You see this? It's open. But yeah, that's how my jeans are looking right now. So it's been great. And also, let me show you another thing that I've been doing. Drinking my water. So this bad boy here, if you saw my water challenge, I've still been drinking a gallon a day. It's been amazing. It's awesome. So please drink your water, which I'm about to do right now because I'm so thirsty. I'm thirsty. <laughs> but yeah, drink your water. This bad boy right here has been really helpful with making sure I've been staying hydrated with all this working out that I've been doing. Literally, I run a mile, I come back, I do my trainer's workout online, and then I stretch, I shower, get ready for the day, I come back home in the evening, and then I try to do two a day workouts. I've been sticking to that about three times out of the week that's guaranteed that I'll do an afternoon, like evening workout with Effect Fitness on their Facebook page, and it's awesome, it's live, it's great. And yeah, that's literally what I've been doing, and it's great. And also, celebration for today since it's June 13th it's 13 days straight that I have not had any candy so I cut out candy for this month that was like the one thing I gave up I told myself I will run my finish my 30 day challenge of running a mile and then I'm not eating any candy so I have been doing that and it feels amazing and you know what at this point I feel like I'm just gonna keep going for the rest of the month at least until I'm done with June online training and yeah I just feel like I might as well keep going because I feel really really good and I look good so clearly it's working you know and it's just it's good to meal prep that's really what it is meal prepping having one cheat meal a week is like a must because that'll help you a lot but even if you don't have no cheat meals you'll have even better results like last night I had some from fried food last night, got some fries from Popeyes, had some mashed potatoes, two biscuits, not one, but two. So I still look great, you know, I'm just saying, you can have a cheat meal, just not a cheat day. That is the biggest thing. So I used to do cheat days and like, oh man, it just throws your whole progress away. If you lost a pound and a half, which is like my goal, so is one pound and a half every week, then you're just gonna gain it all back. And so it's been two weeks so far. I went from 159 pounds, now I'm down to 157.4 pounds. Pretty sure I'm a little lighter than that, but once again, I'm on my period. And you know, I gain a lot of weight when I'm on my period, usually about two to three pounds. So I should be not bloated anymore in the next couple of days once it's gone. So um, yeah, it's been 21 days, that's crazy. Almost a whole month, like I'm super excited. Super excited, and mind you, I'll go into detail in the 30 day video. I started over so many times, like so many times. So many times, I have so many clips of me just saying, oh, I'm starting over again. Oh, I did three days in a row, then I did nine days in a row. The day that I did nine days in a row, I was fed up with myself that I had started all over and I was just really frustrated. And I was like, you know what? I'm doing this, I put it in my calendar. I think it was like June 17th that I started. Not June 17th, it's June 13th right now. No, it was uh, May 17th that I put in my calendar to start. And yeah, ever since then, you know, I've just been pushing through. But back in May, it was a struggle. I started so many times. Like I was really doing well. I started off doing three days in a row. Then I got tired. I did four days in a row. Then I remember one time I got to seven days and then I got to nine days. And that's when I was really upset with myself that I had to start all over because I did not go running on the 10th day. And so I literally told myself, you know what? Starting over and it's been great. So I just feel really good. I just want to make this video a really quick, short video to let you guys know to stick to what your goals are. You can do anything once you stick to it. For 21 days, it becomes a habit. Now running every single day on a fasted like stomach, fasted cardio for me, empty stomach in the morning or the afternoon, whatever you know is best for you, how long you can fast, whatever, do what you gotta do. But I generally do it in the morning, but today was just a later day for me. Um, do what you can, you know, make it happen. Do it for 21 days straight. It becomes a freaking habit. 
do something for 21 days, it's a habit and it's part of your lifestyle. So I'm really excited about myself, about myself, about my results. <laughs> and yeah, I can't wait to show you guys my 30 day progress results. And We'll see if I keep going. I'm going to try to keep going for the entire month of June. And then I'll probably do the rope, the jump rope challenge in July. Yeah, that way, you know, it's just jump rope and my regular workouts, you know? So, yeah, we're going to keep this going. And, yeah, I just feel really good. Drink your water. That is a priority. It is a must, you know, to stay snatched. And stretch. Stretching is key. I just bought myself a foam roller. And I'm about to use it real quick because it's a must for my knees. And run on the balls of your feet. <laughs> Do not run on your heels. Like, don't let your whole foot hit the ground because it hurts like heck. I had to learn from my boyfriend. He gave me some tips and it really helped me. So, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then check out this next one. And, yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know what other challenges you're thinking about trying. And put it down in the comments down below so other people can see what other challenges there are out there. And they might want to try it with you. And we can all, you know, get on these challenges together. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.